All right, here we go again. So, <laughs> oh man, you see, last week when I made that um, video about this whole 5150 Corey Hokum drama and all that shite, I said if he apologized, it would be half assed, like something he wouldn't really mean. He would just apologize because it's to his own benefit. Well, last week he didn't apologize. He doubled down last week or two weeks ago. But since then, I wouldn't say he's had a call to Jesus moment. I think it's probably realized, you know, through the ratings of the show and the comments of fans and friends and family alike, that the situation he had with Zoe for all those years was like a yin and yang situation. They balance each other. Because during quarantine, I was watching a lot of the old shows and you come to realize that the best shows are the ones with Zoe in it. No disrespect to Craig Fax and Nate and all that people, all the, all the comedians. But sometimes you want a balance and not just jokes, 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 jokes all the time. And that's the balance that Zoe provides. Which he never really appreciated. Corey never really appreciated. You know. Because if he did. He wouldn't have disrespected. And emasculated the man. The way he did. Uh, a couple of weeks ago. But now he's realized. That whoa. Man. This guy is the missing link. To the show. He's not the weakest link. By any means necessary. Dude. Was with you. Loyal. For over 10 years. Worked for free. He didn't get paid. What? Well, Darlene gets paid. So if Darlene's there all the time, not really standing for nothing, because the first incident looked like Zoe was trying to take the heat off of her by jumping in, which he shouldn't have, because now Corey and Darlene are cool, but his relationship with Corey is fractured forever. So Darlene is an employee. Corey pays her. He's employed. She's employed by Corey. Zoe was never employed by Corey. Zoe's been working there for free, basically, for over 10 years. And that's how you treat him. Zoe was really hurt. Zoe was doing all that because Zoe really had genuine love for Corey. You can tell by the look in his, in, in, in his face, his body language, his posture, that this guy was really, really heartbroken about the whole situation. And people think they did all this for publicity stunt. No. Nah, no, it wasn't a publicity stunt, but Corey is capitalized on it because in the show yesterday or earlier today, depends on what part of the world you're in. Corey was talking about how the ratings of the show is better than ever and blah, blah, blah. And the t-shirt he made, this in Zoe sold a lot and the diss tracks and all that stuff. And... and and Jeff Brown was there yesterday like a mediator. It was trying to like reel everything back in. Because when they get into the crux of the issue, Corey does what he normally does. He like deflects, doesn't admit, admit guilt, never admits guilt, textbook e uh, uh, egomaniac, narcissistic human being. He just always trying to, was trying to deflect the entire show. The, the show was, was called uh, What Real Apology Looks Like. It should be called What Deflecting Looks Like. Because the entire show was just Corey deflecting. Just deflecting. And Jeff was there to try to reel him back in. But then, of course, he got defensive and, and, and attacked uh, Jeff Brown verbally. At the beginning of the show, you can, you can just tell by the way the, their, body, their, their body language was speaking volumes. Even Zoe's. You can tell by their body language that their relationship is never, ever going to be the way it was before. Because when you argue with people, then you get emotional and you say some things. There's some things that can't, that you can't really go back from. That's why the best thing to do when you're angry or agitated at someone you care about or anyone at all, the best thing is just to walk away. But, you know, Curry shows that he never really had a masculine figure in his life. Because men don't handle themselves like that. You know, if you can't admit your wrong and take responsibilities for your actions, that's a serious character flaw. And I don't think you're the one I want to be taking advice from. 
or looking up to as a mentor because there's a lot of young black men out there black boys out there black males out there i won't call them men that kind of need guidance because they never really had a father figure in their life and they cling on to celebrities like this because he's a very talented comedian he's still my favorite comedian but to the young guy out there that's looking for a father figure or, uh, or a mentor someone like this is not the person to look up to because they don't know what masculinity looks like because he probably learned masculinity from his mom and her sisters and her friends so he doesn't really know what masculinity looks like you know responsibility taking responsibility loyalty humility he doesn't know all that jeff brown kept trying to reel him back in all right you called your man of over 10 years the weakest link you said you're only keeping him around for his intelligence how can you address that and he went on a rant about how jeff brown's got marginal talent that doesn't think jeff brown is that talented blah 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 blah, blah, blah. and jeff brown is like all right you just cheated on me and i just got a tv show deal that i wrote you a part in you see we just witnessed firsthand how he burns down bridges and how as talented as he is he's in the same spot he is you would just witness it firsthand he's his own worst enemy he can't seem to get out of his own way this guy is unbelievable deflecting talking about Aries Spears talking about the whole Stephen A. Smith and fighting Charles Barkley and uh, poet is stealing money and people didn't come to the show yesterday to like really hear all that same thing he's been talking about for, for years people were there to actually see him apologize and take responsibility but when you understand narcissism you know that wasn't really going to happen which at the very end of the show he kind of did like half-assed apology he apologized uh, Zoe was like well we spoke on the phone and he apologized on the phone but people people want to see him apologize in public because he he humiliated and masculated Zo in public so we're trying to see him apologize in public but that's too much to ask for this guy because he's immature kept talking about grady and grady this grady that things people wasn't really interested in talking about oh grady lied about cheating on his wife how's that your place are you the 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 captain keep it real man captain truth seeker guy what the, the talking about where well, I've, I've been on tour with grady i've seen what grady does and we're on the show and grady's talking about he never cheated and i'm like don't lie in front of me because i'm going to say something about it but that's not masculinity you just you, you're saying you don't have self-control it's not everything the eyes see that the mouth must talk about jeff brown said something about him violating the bro code because it's not he's not it's not his place to say what well, a man is cheating on his wife and blah 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 and try to expose him on international tv i can't even say Corey was acting like a woman because that would be an insult to women because the women out there that would never snitch on their friends to their husbands because she's messing about <laughs> there are women out there that oppose the bro code more than a lot of guys out there that like this situation has shown us he's not acting f a feminine per se i would say he's just immature he's a child in a 50 something year old body he hasn't grown up and it's very very sad to see like communication is nothing without understanding from both sides no but he was just talking and talking he didn't really care what anybody else had to say and I, I, was, I was thinking as well like is he going to apologize to sarah you know sarah the tech girl that was that zoe brought to his show to help him out during the pandemic and he scolded in front of the world and she ended up crying on live tv and she left the show she never came back and I, was he going to apologize to her well he didn't apologize to sarah he didn't really apologize to zoe well not the way people were expecting he apologized to him in private because he's too proud to apologize in public and at the end of the day he just apologized half you know, half assed that was the whole show basically if you if you if you tuned in to like watch him to see if he was going to apologize and take responsibility well 
Oh man, just going by Stephen A. Smith. Just for the record, nobody wants to see you fight Stephen A. Smith. I don't want to see black people fight. What what people are realizing now watching him is that if he can do this to Zoe, a friend, a brother to him for over 10 years, if he can do this to Zoe, he can do this to anyone. Uh, but but to be fair, there was Corey made a good point when uh, Zoe was talking about how the fans take everything Corey says as gospel and a lot of people were teasing him and insulting him saying he didn't have a car and he was broke and the girl was taking care of him and all that stuff and Corey was like don't really give any any energy to what people say or what people think about you like just focus on you because there's people on the internet you don't really know there's people there's just their motive to like pour negativity on on every situation you can't let that bring you down i thought that was a good point so is probably going to do the show probably going to go to the 5150 show like maybe once in a while once in a blue moon thing it's not going to be like it was before i wouldn't advise it i wouldn't advise him to do that i would say she just stay far away you know because Corey oozes negativity and you don't want life is too short to and camp around negative people you know they just bring you down to their own low vibration level you know so should be vibrating on a higher frequency that's it guys please like comment share subscribe all that good stuff and just on a side note don't let things like this distract you from really what's important in the world the cryptocurrency is in a bull market right now the altcoins are booming like crazy so go and copy yourself some altcoins stack your paper and just don't let all this shite distract you man there's bigger things in life until next time guys have a good one